efficient downstream process development with a two-step purification platform for monoclonal antibodies. Hello, I'm Bam Kyu Kim, working for Samsung Biologics, CDUTSP part. Before starting my presentation, I would like to thank you for giving me an opportunity to present my data. Today, I will give a talk on efficient downstream process development with a two-step purification platform for monoclonal antibodies. To reduce manufacturing costs and shorten development timeline, the biotechnology industry is increasing considering the applications of two-step purification platform. Conventional process for purifications of monoclonal antibodies mostly consist of a three-step purification. According to the historical Samsung Biologics project and commercial manufacturing, most of purification steps were dependent on three steps and there is no cases for applications of two-step purification. This slide describes changes in trends of multiple-step purification process at small or lab scale. Before 2000, four-step purification was applied for high purity and yield, but this application resulted in relatively expensive downstream process and long development time. Between 2000 and 2015, with the development of protein A resin, which is used for an affinity chromatography, a three-step purification platform was established for high purity and yield. And after 2015, the new technologies for purification process at small scale are considered that an improvement in capacity of protein A resin, applications of non-PA process, and applications of MMX, HE, as the second resin. Let me explain the detailed information of three-step purification in conventional downstream process platform. The first column is used with a protein A affinity chromatography for capturing monoclonal antibodies leading to high selectivity. As the second column, CEX chromatography focuses on further decreases of HMWS, host cell proteins, which is HCP, and host cell DNA, which is HCD. As the third column, AEX or HIC chromatography provides additional HMWS, HCP, and HCD clearances. And the development timelines are based on historical SBL project of real development timeline. This three-step purification platform provides acceptable yield, purity, and impurity clearance but eliminating an additional chromatography step is desirable for lowering process cost and shortening development time. Simply, we expect that if the second column can be deleted in the purification platform, the development timeline of 30 days can be reduced. Therefore, we focused on the development of two-step purification platform for productions of monoclonal antibodies. For development of the two-step purification platform, PA MMX chromatographies were applied. The comparisons of monoclonal antibody second chromatograms between first protein A and third MMX processes demonstrated no significant differences, indicating that the chromatograms of PA, MMX in the two-step and three-step purifications are comparable. As the reference, the second column step was only conducted for three-step purification. 
To develop two-step purification platform, we conducted four cases studies with the four monoclonal antibodies, which are monoclonal antibody 1, monoclonal antibody 2, monoclonal antibody 3, and monoclonal antibody 4. Yield purity from four purified monoclonal antibodies and impurity clearance from high molecular weight species, which is HMWS, and low molecular weight species, LMWS, and HCP and HCDs are shown in this slide and next slide. Two-step purification platforms, monoclonal antibody 1 and monoclonal antibody 2, exhibited comparabilities compared to three-step purification platform. In the case of monoclonal antibody 3 and monoclonal antibody 4, two-step purification platforms are comparable to three-step purification in terms of yield, purities, HMWS, LMWS, HCP, and HCD. In order to verify the process performance for monoclonal antibodies, two-liter verification run of monoclonal antibody 1 was conducted with three batches. These figures describe the processes of the verification run. The purpose of two-liter verification run is to verify the robustness applying for developed monoclonal antibody 1 downstream process. Through the result of the study, it has been demonstrated that the developed monoclonal antibody 1 downstream process is capable for consistent process performance, product quality, and impurity removal, for example, HCP and HCD. The purpose of 200-liter production run for monoclonal antibody 2 was to test the scalability of the two-step purification process. These figures describe the processes of 200-liter production run. These figures demonstrated the comparabilities between 2-liter and 200-liter in terms of purity, yield, HCP, and HCD. Therefore, based on these results, the scalabilities of monoclonal antibody to two-step purification platform to 200-liter production run from the two-liter verification run was confirmed. We also calculated cost and time saving in operating and labor cost between two and three-step purification process. The two-step purification platform of monoclonal antibody 2 can reduce the number of raw materials and labor cost leading to cost saving, which is about $54,000 in 200-liter production run. This number is equal to reductions of 20% compared to three-step purification. In addition, the two-step purification platform could omit several procedures, including the second chromatography, packing-unpacking column, buffer preparation, and column efficiency testing. Based on 200-liter production timeline of monoclonal antibody 2, the timeline can be reduced from 27 days to 19 days. In summary, we completed the establishment of two-step purification platform using protein A and MMX regions. With the applications of small-scale, two-liter verification run and 200-liter production run, the process robustness and scalabilities were also confirmed. In addition, we demonstrated that the two-step purification platform was comparable to three-step purification platform in terms of yield, purity, and impurity clearance. 
Finally, by applying two-step purification, we confirm that the cost and time can be significantly reduced. This is the end of my presentation, and thank you for your attention.